Hey guys, welcome to this video on how to read and understand music notation with me, Darren Barney Milligan. In this video, I'll be showing you how easy it really is to understand music notation and by the end of this video, I promise you, I'll have you reading music also. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. I've seen it so many times when people and musicians like myself freak out when they get a piece of sheet music put in front of them. Now, music isn't nothing to be afraid of. It's actually your friend and a guide. So let's take a look at a few tips and tricks on how to understand it. First of all, music is written on these lines, which you'll see here. And this is called the staff or the stave. And you'll see it's made up of five lines and four spaces. At the start of the stave, you'll see this little symbol, which is known as a clef. And in this instance, this one is known as a treble clef. Clef is French for key. And this symbol simply indicates us and tells us what pitch we are playing in. Remember, pitch is how high or how low a note sounds. Now, the most important thing in music is the note. And the note, as you'll see here, has got a little circle or blob, which is known as the note head. And then you'll see the little tail or stem. But in this instance, what we focus on is the head of the note. That is the most important thing that we'll be looking at. A music note gives us a specific sound where you find it placed on the stave. In music, we only use the first seven letters of the alphabet to name the notes. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then this repeats again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, depending on how high or how low we go. So firstly, we're gonna look at notes that lie on the line. We always start at the bottom line and work our way up. So the first note on the line at the bottom is the note E. Next, we have the note G, the second line. On the third line, we have the note B. On the fourth line, you'll find the note D. And on the fifth line, you'll find the note F. Now we have another note here, which is called A. And you'll find it is placed on a little line on its own. And this is called a ledger line. And what this does is it extends the stave, but we only put this in where we need to use it. Otherwise, our page would just be full of lines. You might find it a little hard to remember those notes in that order, but we've got a little mnemonic which helps us to remember this. So our mnemonic is basically just a set of words which make it easy to remember the letters. So a little mnemonic for remembering these notes on the line is as below. So we have E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for deserves, F for football, A for always. So every good boy deserves football always. So if we say that three times, that's always a good way to help you remember things. So every good boy deserves football always. Every good boy deserves football always. Every good boy deserves football always. Now, if you say something three times over, I find that it sticks in your head a lot better. And I'll be doing a video later on looking at tips and tricks on how to help memorize music. So be sure to click the subscribe button and click the little notification bell so you don't miss that video when it comes out. I also use my hand as a way of remembering notes on the line. So I use my four fingers and my thumb as lines on the stave. So starting from the bottom, we go every good boy deserves football and then always at the top. So E, G, B, D, F, A. 
So there's the little trick as well to help you remember. Next, we're going to look at notes that are in the space in between the lines. Again, like the notes on the line, we use the first space above the lines and work our way from the bottom up. So let's take a look at the scale and notes in the space. So first of all, in the first space above the first line, we have the note F. In the second space, we have the note A. In the next space, we have the note C. And in the fourth space, we have the note E. And in the space above the top line, we also have our last note, which is the note G. Again, another mnemonic on how to remember these is F for four, A for all, C for cows, E for eat, G for grass. So for all cows eat grass. Again, say that three times to help remember, for all cows eat grass. And also another way I remember it, I use, if it's in the space, use your face, because F-A-C-E spells face, and then you have your G at the end. So just another wee way of remembering the notes in the space. Also, if we use our hands again, we have our spaces in between our fingers. So F, A, C, E, and then G above the top line. So just a few ways of helping you remember notes that are found on the space. So let's put all these notes now on the stave together. So starting with notes on the line. So we start with E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for deserves, F for football, A for always. So there is our notes on the line. And now we follow that with notes in the space. So F for four, A for all, C for cows, E for eat, G for grass. And now you'll see our full scale. Now you can see when we have all the notes in the stave, you can see the pattern. It goes line, space, line, space, line, space, and line, space, and so on. Okay, and you will also see that we only use the seven letters of the alphabet. Again, like the beginning of the video, you will see that we go E, F, G, then it goes back to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then that can continue A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. So remember, we only use the first seven letters of the alphabet to read music. If you've got any mnemonics or ways or phrases of helping you to remember the notes, put them in the comments box below because I would love to hear them. Let's have a go now at putting what we've practiced into use. A good way of doing this is a little game called Code Breakers, whereby we get a series of different notes and the letters corresponding to these notes form a word. So our first example is here below. You will see these three notes are on the line. The first note is on the third line. So remember our little mnemonic, every good boy. So the answer is B for boy. The next note is in the first line. So remember our mnemonic, the first word was every. So that is E. And then the next note is the exact same is E again, and this spells the word B. You'll see we've got four notes this time in the spaces. So the first note, which is in the third space, so remember our little mnemonic for it, for all cows. So the first note is C. The next one is in the second space, so for all. The next one is in the first space, so for F. And the last one is in the fourth space, which is for all cows eat. So I hope you got that. And the word is cafe. So to mix it up a little bit, we've got some notes on the line and some notes in the spaces. So the first note 
is in the first space, so remember our little mnemonic for. The next note is in the ledger line at the top, so remember our little mnemonic for the lines. Every good boy deserves football always, so A for always. The next third note is on the fourth line, so we've got every good boy deserves, so D for deserves. And the last note, which is on the fourth space, so we have for all cows eat. So the word is feed. I'm going to give you one more, but this time I'm not telling you the answer. But what I want you to do is, if you've got the answer, I want you to put it in the comments box below, and I will tell you if you're right or wrong. So a little challenge for you at home. So here is your little code breaker. So I look forward to receiving some of your answers, and I'm sure you're all going to get it right, because like I said at the start, reading music is easy as ABC. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, give us a little like down below. Remember, subscribe to our channel, where you'll find lots more music videos, music tips and tricks, tutorials, and even some bagpipe music. Catch you soon.